king bed and we have a really nice view. Isn't that pretty? And a gold chair. <laughs> it's like we have the gold room. That's the um, Hotel de Ville. So, what's an Hotel de Ville in English? City Hall. City Hall. And a big bathroom, beautiful shower. So, yeah. Hi, everyone. So, um, we're in Quebec City. I didn't film today because uh, we left home it was 6 a.m. Uh, to get to Quebec City for 8 30. Um, we had reservations at the spa, the Strum Spa of Old Quebec. I love that spa so much. We alternate between the Strum and the Siberia, uh, two of my absolute favorite spas. But today we went to the Strum. We used our gift certificate that we got from our in-law, from my in-laws, from Phil's parents uh, at Christmas. So that was a wonderful day. Um, we we ended up, uh, so the, the place, we were there at 8.30, but like for check-in, cause it opens at nine. And I think we left like around, I think we got out of the, like to get ready around 5.30. Um, and now we're checked in at the hotel and we're gonna go have some crepes tonight at this really great place called the Belig that I absolutely were the biggest fans of. They really remind us of the delicious crepes when we go to France. So we're gonna eat there tonight. And then tomorrow, it's gonna be cold uh, tomorrow. So I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I'm sure we're gonna walk a little bit in old uh, Le Vieux Champlain, old Quebec, but um, maybe we're gonna go to the museum, uh, the, Musée des Beaux-Arts to see what they have going on there. We're gonna see, we're gonna wing it tomorrow. Uh, for sure, I have to do some work for school as well. I have to fit in a couple hours for that. So I have my computer. Um, and that's what I actually had on my Kindle today. I, for when we were reading, I had imported PDFs of my research papers that I'm, that I'm analyzing right now for, for a project. So uh, that's what I was reading at the spa. <laughs> nerd life <laughs> um and yeah i'm just i'm i'm so relaxed right now <laughs> i'm like really zen it's really good um so i'm really really excited oh and the lunch today was so good we had such a nice lunch i love that little bistro at the spa um i'm still on antibiotics for like five days so no alcohol uh so i didn't have a glass of wine or anything but we had um, it was a beet soup, which was absolutely divine. And then Phil had like a pulled pork burger with roasted veggies in there. And I had, like they had a gluten-free bread and then it had, um, I don't even know what it was, but it was all, you know, plant-based. So you had like roasted vegetables and you had like a plant-based caviar and it was, um, and like a, um, vegan equivalent to ricotta so it was really tasty it was really really good um the the waitress was recommending it uh in terms of one of the one of the gluten-free options and i really liked it i really really enjoyed it and it was very filling honestly um there was loads of protein in there and then uh for dessert a delicious uh chai latte for me and we shared this really nice um, dessert that they had with, it was, um, I'm losing my English all of a sudden, but it's like a cake au noisette. Um, and there was like a strawberry sorbet with it. And it had like a meringue on top, like crispy meringue, but cedar flavored. And I, I don't know, but it just, all the different, flavors of the was it, hazelnut <laughs> hazelnut strawberry and that cedar was just phenomenal like it was so good 
um, it just gave it kind of like a little bit of a woodsy, smoky kind of flavor. It was just, it was so good. So I'm gonna insert some pictures of, of our lunch. It was so, so yummy. And, um, and I know tonight's gonna be so, so yummy. And um, I'm just really excited about this weekend. It's just gonna do me a world of good. And my hair is all over the place when you got out of the out of the spa I washed it so it's extra poofy right now tomorrow it'll be a little bit better um looking forward to a haircut in a couple weeks <laughs> um so yeah that's the that's the vibe for me today so I'm gonna see y'all later when we're at dinner This morning look at that frost in the window um, when it's that sunny and crisp it is usually a sign that it is freezing and I was just looking at the um, the weather and it's minus 15 Celsius um, so it's a cold one today but it seems to be warmer here than the Montreal area, which is rare, usually it's the opposite. The Montreal area seems to be at minus 22 today. Um, but it's quiet this morning. People aren't brave enough to go outside yet. <laughs> and I'm one of those people. Good morning, we're Saturday morning and um, I got up early and I've been working on my um, project a little bit um, and just caught up on a couple videos so I watched Melissa's Corner a lesson she learned I watched Raelle with her coach well her daughter's coach heart bag review and what fits and I watched um, Jackie's birthday bag uh, from her from her mom-in-law so that was a good little mental break this morning um, I don't know if your hair feels in the shower. Um, so yeah, we're probably gonna go eat breakfast when he's ready. Um, I'm not really wanting to go outside because it's so cold. <laughs> um, I want to show you my new, it's a, a, a more recent acquisition for a little lemon. This is really cute. Cropped uh, sweatshirt. I love it. I went into the store to do, um, a return and end up being an exchange because I saw this, I tried it on and I just loved it. It's really, really nice. Um, it's going to be really good all year too because it's not super thick. So it's going to be like really a good, you know, spring, summer sweatshirt as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the game plan this morning. Um, I didn't show you that the bag I brought for my little weekend away is my Aspinall of London uh, zip top Lottie and I started using this front pocket I've never been using it but I was like you know what I'm gonna start using it and I actually really really like it so I'm in my front pocket now what I've been keeping all the time is well, right now I have the hotel uh, card I have glasses cleaning wipes that I keep in there I keep my Bastia with change and cash, and I keep my mirror. So that's what was in here. So, um, 
And my bag is pretty packed right now. I'll show you what I have. So one of the mirrors slipped right in. The Ostia. It's hard to do when you're not looking. Um, I'm just gonna slip those in there. Brand front. It was just really nice to just like, I want to just check myself and just kind of open the flap and grab my mirror or grab my Bastia to you if I want to pay something with cash. And it just closes really easily. So I love that feature. I'm really, really enjoying it. I don't know why I wasn't using it before. And then inside, my bag is full. So I have um, my AirPods, my Listerine breath strips, and my little toothpicks. And then I have just a bunch of stuff, like my little powder there, my Calvi gum, keys, my gloss, and then perfume, lip balm, lip oil, powder brush for that compact, that's a little concealer, and um, for touch-ups, and my hand cream. So, it's really, ah, it's such a good bag. I really, really love this bag. I really enjoy using it. Um, and it's just one of my absolute favorites in my collection. Um, so yeah, huge fan of this bag. Huge, 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 huge fan of this bag. Um, obviously, because I bought every color. <laughs> But yeah, um, so that's that. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Um, I'm really, like I said, I don't know really what we're getting into today because I know myself and I'm not gonna have the endurance to <laughs> spend the entire day outside in this weather. I'm really not a winter gal. It's just so ironic that life <laughs> has made it that I live here. <laughs> I should live in Florida or something, honestly. Um, where Texas sounds like the perfect weather for, for me. <laughs> so, it is what it is. I'm married to a, th a northerner, though. Like, Phil loves the winter. Like, he's going to be outside today. He's not going to have a hat on. He's fine. <laughs> like, if we go skiing, I go down twice, uh, you know, and then I'm like, okay, I need to go inside. I'm completely frozen. He can go all day. Like, he's he's such an endurance for the cold. Um, and that's just not in my blood. So, there you go. So, I'm going to see you a bit later. So I haven't been vlogging because it's been too cold. <laughs> so I just thought, okay, wait, there's no wind right now. I'm gonna take two seconds just to say hello. Um, it's the first moment I was able to take off my hood. But it's, uh, it's not that busy outside. And um, just went to the cutest little artisan store. I love that place so much every time I come here. And apparently we have one in Old Montreal, so that's cool. But it's all like Quebec artists and uh, things that they make. And I just love that place so much. Um, I'll show you later what I did pick up, but I'm, I'm excited about it. Little things. And yeah, we're just walking a little bit, enjoying the sunshine though. That's the one good thing today. Look at that. Look at that sun.
looks like we're gonna go visit a church. So we're back in our room because play this cricket. Hang on. So we're back at our room, went to get some Starbucks and I've been, I've been wanting one of these and I hadn't tried it yet. It's the pistachio latte. Um, I took it with coconut milk uh, and it is divine. It is so good. It is so good. So I told Phil, I'm like, I let him taste it and he loved it too. So we'll probably get another one tomorrow before we get back on the road to go home. I just wanted to show you, like, I'm super excited because we went to this little artisan boutique that I, that I love, Artisan. So they have the Montreal address. So I found out we have one in Old Montreal and in Quebec City. And um, every time I come here, I love, I love to go there. That's where I discovered the self products last time I came. And I'm obsessed with their Nordic line, which I did a video about uh, a couple months ago. And so... Of course, we had to go in there. And so I picked up some maple candy. I love maple candy. It's so good. So it's basically just, um, you know, hardened maple syrup, basically. Um, so it's so good. I got that. Hubby just came back in because he went to the car to get some cards. Um, and then I got the horse lover in me found this and it has a little clip there. So, I mean, you could wear it as a pendant, but I think it's really cute if we can clip it to a little D-ring on a bag and make it a really cute bag charm. So I really, really loved that pewter horse. And then it's from a company called Chelsea Jewelry. And then I got these dangle earrings. They also had them in a stud, but because they're a little bit more big, Phil agreed that maybe the dangle was better. I'm totally gonna wear these. I love them. So yeah, the horse and the horse lover in me had to. And then and then and I got this one that's for a gift. For somebody and it's one of those bag charms so it says dog lover I just think it's so so cute and last but not least they wrapped it in this little box with the logo of the store and they're by Criar and they are this beautiful glass dangle earrings um, with kind of like a yellow gold inlay there. Hang on. Oh, let me see, can I hold them up like this to help you really see them? They're so pretty. And they just looked so, so pretty on. Like, let me put them on because it's worth it. They looked really nice. I'm gonna clip my hair. Just so we can. Okay. 
just so we can see them properly because I might just wear them because they look amazing. And the girl was like, oh yeah, they really, they had a bunch of colors. Um, I just really liked these like yellow golden ones. And she was like, no, they look really, really pretty with the dark hair. So I went with those. And apparently the artisan who made these, I think she lives in the Drummondville area. Um, so that's a good hour from Montreal. Um, which that means about an hour and a half from here, maybe. Something like that. Okay. What can I get it on? It was like that in the store to you, struggling to find the hole in my ear. Aren't they cute? They're so cute and they're really, really lightweight. Um, and they give that really pretty gold. So it still looks really pretty with like gold jewelry. So there we go, that's my little <laughs> artisan haul. So bijoucreart.com, I'll link them below because um, I think it's worth checking them out. And then Chelsea Jewelry, I'll try to see if I can find their website. Um, and I'll link them below. So I am going to enjoy my latte now probably get a little bit more work done and then we're gonna head out again a bit later when we're gonna go out to dinner and walk around while things are lit up it'll look really pretty um but for now it was just too cold I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore um and then we went and visited a little church but we we're I felt rushed a bit because the groom was there and then you know guests were starting to arrive because they were I guess a wedding is about to start uh, any minute if it's not started yet um, so that's very exciting they have a very cold day but they have a beautiful 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 sunny day so that's uh, that's something to be grateful for um, I guess it's always a risk if you decide to get married in February in Quebec but um, I wish them I don't know these people but I wish them a lifetime of happiness um, so on that note, I am going to see you all a bit later. Tonight's color seems to be green. Yesterday it was red. Yeah, we'll be going outside a little bit tonight to go eat. Tu sais, il y a des DEP, là, de métier. Oui. Okay. Mais ils donnent aussi pour la population euh, des cours... Euh... Mm. Good morning. Uh, so we're Sunday morning and I've been up since 6, 6 15, uh, working on my school and um, and then I got ready and I assume we're gonna go have breakfast and then we're slowly gonna head back uh, to Montreal and I had a wonderful time. I just wanted to show you, look, I'm wearing my my horse earrings. They're cute. I love them. And they're super lightweight and I just think they look really cute and it'll be a really cute casual day here. <laughs> that was the shower. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit sad going back to reality. It's also sad that, you know, this weekend I had to be somewhat detached with getting schoolwork stuff done, but I guess that's going to be my new normal. Um, 
but it was still nice to get away and just change of scenery and change of beat a little bit. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say hi and um, I'll talk to y'all later. Happy Sunday.